Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'd like to show you how we eat out at a restaurant on the GAPS diet. So in this little mini series I'm talking about traveling on the GAPS diet and I've been showing you how we traveled to our destination, what kind of food we brought along and how we packed it. And then I'm also showing us cooking at the place that we're staying, some really handy hacks for cooking when the kitchen doesn't have all of your normal equipment that you're used to, what we're making for food and buying for groceries and things like that. And today I'm going to show you us going out to eat in a restaurant and how we make that work on the GAPS diet. So when we first decided that we wanted to eat out at a restaurant, I first did some research. I looked for healthy restaurants on the island that we're staying at. So healthy restaurants plus the name of the area we're staying in. And a bunch of different results came up and I just looked at a few that looked promising and I found one that's like a local seafood restaurant and it looked like they had high quality ingredients. These won't be the cheapest places but we already know that we're more than okay with you know, people on the GAPS diet are more than okay with paying a bit more for higher quality food. We already know all about that. So it's just part of the whole equation. But I looked at their menu and it looked like they had homemade dressings and sauces and they had wild caught seafood and things like that. So we decided to go to this one that I found and it turned out to be a really good experience. People there were really nice and attentive when I talked about what kind of dietary needs we had. From the menu, which I looked at the menu online beforehand to make sure that I knew there were some choices that we could work with. So when we went there, I picked those choices. We got a seafood feast, I think it was called, or a chef's feast. I forgot the exact name, but it was basically some fish, some shrimp, and some scallops. And they were just grilled and they served them with some mango butter that they made themselves and um, and then some steamed vegetables with just butter along the side. They would normally serve bread and rice as well and we just told them that we weren't eating those things and so they just didn't serve the bread and they gave us a larger portion of the vegetables in the place of the rice. And then for kids they had some grilled shrimp that were just grilled with nothing added and then some steamed vegetables. So we were able to enjoy a really tasty meal out at a restaurant, which was fun because it was a meal we didn't make ourselves and it's always fun to eat in a restaurant atmosphere while still sticking to our GAPS diet foods. We also found another restaurant that we ended up liking even better than the first one because the portions were so much bigger. Again, I researched it really well beforehand and I found out that they catch all of their seafood fresh that same day and um, we were really happy with this one because the portions were a lot bigger. So what we did is we asked, um, I checked the menu beforehand like I said and so when we went in we already had an idea of what we wanted so we asked for these steamer buckets and they normally come with um, potatoes, corn, and then your choice of three different types of seafood and then a sauce to go onto it. So we asked if they could just leave the potatoes and corn out and they were happy to do that. They were super super nice. They gave us steamed vegetables. It was carrots, zucchini, and yellow squash instead of the corn and potatoes and then also a side salad with no dressing on it. So that's what we had and then we could choose a bunch of different kinds of seafood to go into the bucket so we got between all of us we got shrimp, some snapper, clams, mussels, crab. We also for the sauce they had a bunch of different choices and one of the choices was garlic butter so I asked you know is it just garlic and butter and they're like yeah it is. So we had that for the sauce. And so it was just like dipping them in melted butter that had garlic in it. So that worked great. We liked this recipe, this restaurant so much that we ended up going back a second time and we ordered the same thing the next time we changed the seafood around just a little bit between who ordered what. But other than that, we kept the vegetables and 
the sauce, the butter garlic, the same. And it was a great experience. We got to eat as much fresh seafood as we wanted. Oh, the second restaurant, I also ordered some raw oysters, which was really fun. We just had a great time with being able to eat so much fresh seafood because in Colorado where we live, that is not something that you can get very easily. So we really enjoyed that. So I hope that you enjoyed those tips for eating out on the GAPS diet. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody else who you think might want to see it or find it helpful. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.